Okay, so this one is the, um, the seated groin uh, stretch or groin mobility. Um, very, very simple. You know, sit in what I like to call like a little Buddha stretch type position, feet together. Um, and from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this left hand and place it behind me just to prop up on which frees up my right hand to get into this groin. Okay, so this left hand groin. And what we're going to do, you'll remember that your groin, uh, I'll show you on this leg here so you can see it. It's almost like a sort of arrow shape. Okay, so it starts wider at the top and then it comes sort of down until you end up with the last major strand of it, the gracilis that comes down to connect down towards the knee. Um, so that's the kind of the shape that you want to be working along. Okay, so just remember that. So <clears throat> when I'm in this position, I then reinforce my thumb. All right, if you really have weak thumbs or really weak hands, you can use an implement, for example, like the end of a wooden spoon. Um, as long as it's sort of like you know a, a you know, nice rounded end, it's not going to scratch your skin up or whatever, or any other implement that you can use that you feel that you can get better pressure into. But ideally, it's always better if you can get your hands in just because of the, the, the sensation through your fingertips. All right, it's always much better to get a bit of a feel for the tissues rather than just sort of a blunt instrument going in there. Um, then, what I'm going to do is take that reinforced thumb, dig around, okay, find the sore spot or um, tender spot, and then what I'm going to do, if I just turn a little bit so you can see, is I'm going to apply the force in and um, along. All right? So I'm trying to sort of pull it down towards the knee. Yeah? And as I do that, what I'll do is I'll drive that knee out and down towards the floor as I'm pushing along that direction. Okay? It's normal for it to feel very burny. All right, it's actually kind of almost in a way what we're looking for. If there's not that tenderness, there's no burning and all that kind of stuff. Then basically, this is this is not the technique you need to be doing, um, and you probably more likely than not have fairly decent range of motion around that hip anyway in, into that into that position. So don't fret. If you can't find it, don't go. You know, oh, I've just got to push harder or whatever. You'll know it because it will feel. You know, you don't have to put a hell of a lot of pressure on if you've got these these spots that need working on. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on. All right. So dig, dig, dig. Mobilize out and down. And as I'm pulling that hip out and down, it's not just I'm not just rolling over. So this leg all comes up with it. Alright, I'm actively trying to engage these muscles around the side here that we've spoken about, the glute, knees and mins, to pull that leg out to the side. Alright? So again, dig, 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 mobilise out, and then obviously on the other side as well. 